hello hello welcome in or to the video actually we are doing an unboxing today i got in this big bad boy from indonesia so we're going to open him up and then we have another box coming tomorrow so i will probably film that uh, as soon as it comes in and try to get it out wednesday night we'll see what happens we are shooting for a thursday night show but if you know louise is working all night uh, all week so if that kind of makes it too hard then we'll do it Sunday I'm a little nervous about this one and I'll tell you why but uh, without further ado let's open her up so I am slightly nervous about this package only because I have received broken items from this person on multiple occasions And you might be wondering, well, why would you order again? Well, I have never found another carver with as much talent as he has. So it's kind of worth taking the chance. So far, so good. Sometimes when I order stuff from Indonesia, I make Luis open it because... Sometimes there's little critters in here um, because it's straight up out of the jungle, you know. So there's like weird flying insects in here that I've never come across before. But he's at work right now, so I'm just going to have to toughen up and <laughs> deal with it. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. He is good. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Do I even have my flight on? Oh my goodness. There we go. This is Amber. Let me get you a light real quick. Gorgeous. But the question is, what do you look like under the black light? We must know, right? We must know. Let me find my fl black light real quick. Not prepared for this video, obviously. Of course, my daughter hid my flashlight, but I do have this extra backup right here. Nice, pretty lines. Just a really clean looking amber. Really nice. Next. Oh yeah, look at this. So good. I got quite a few of the grape skulls in because they were just too good. There was a lot of them, like a, like a, not like a lot, but, well, there was a lot, but there was like a, a lot <laughs> that I was uh, choosing from and there was too many good ones. So I may have gotten about four or five of these. I don't even remember, but I haven't gotten any grape or amber in it in a while, and it's just so good. And it's so expensive everywhere, except for where I find it. So we're just lucky, you know, if you're into that sort of stuff. Oh, so good. They're so good. Next up. The other box that's coming in, you'll probably see at the end of this video, maybe at the beginning of this video. I don't even know how I'm going to edit it yet. I might even voice over this. We'll see. Oh, yeah. Why is 
don't have any good light, look. There we go. He's got Jeruzzi on his side. I love it. Oh, he's got grapes on both sides. That is so rad. I like this one. This one is good. And I'm just really digging the bone structure that they've got going on on these skulls. Looking really good. Really good. Oh, they look so, like, good. <laughs> Another grape. Another grape. -y. Yes. Super purple. Super purpley and bubbly. Man, they do such a good job. Look at that. Hey guys, sorry, but my daughter walked in and I was conversing with her, not even realizing that I was still recording. So I'm just going to speed up this part and give you a voiceover. Soft gray grapes. I got this piece because he's super two-tone. It almost looks like he's wearing a mask. And I'm just really digging his bone structure. Really nice piece. Super purple. Love it. Okay, I think this might be my last grape. I remember getting, I got five. My lighting is so low right now, you guys. I'm so sorry I didn't give you the best lighting in this video, but on the live, you'll see his, all his details. Look at, he's so good. It's just the pigment of purple that I am so excited for. Oh, so good. There they are. I love them. He has got such good bone structure. I know, I'm a big fat nerd. Especially when it comes to skulls. But we got three more in here. He is big. So big. Next. Sorry, I had to open it <laughs> off the camera for a second. I'm gonna get this box out of the way. That way you guys can see what I'm doing. 
another gigantic skull. I'm excited for this one. I'm excited for this one. See him? Oh my gosh. <gasps> he looks so good. Oh my gosh, like my most biggest amber skull I've ever received. So excited for this guy. If I can get him unmummied. This is one giant hunk, hunk, chunk <laughs> of amber. Let's check him out. Wow. He is so good. So good. Love it. Wow. So good. Wow, he is gigantic. Let me show you next to the other skull. so good love it all right guys last but not least sorry guys i totally was about to open him off camera Love him. Had to get me some Maligano. So good. And I had to. Hey guys. So I cut that last part out a little bit short just because I decided to just make this one video. As you can tell, probably by the title of it, I didn't end up doing the other box in this video. It's just, it would just be too long. So I wanted to go over the skulls a little bit more in depth on uh, underneath the lights. And, uh, yeah, so we're just going to get into that. It is the next day and my package is a day late, but it's okay. No worries. Um, we will see what happens, uh, in the next day or two. So, um, we're just going to go do a quick run through what we have up close and maybe talk a little bit about them more in depth, but here we go. So here is the smaller um, amber piece that I have. Um, I think I've already touched on this one quite a bit. It's very elegant. There's really nothing that um, stands out because some amber does have, you know, like gold plating or um, just fissures and cracks because it's so delicate. This piece is pretty fantastic if I must say so myself. Um, next we have the grape. Obviously I am so excited about these you guys. Am I the only one obsessed with these? Look at these green little bubbles on his cheek. I absolutely look at that little one right there. It's almost like a little booger. I love it. He's so good. I'm obsessed with how purple most of these are. I am so happy. We do have two that are slightly small. 
or smaller, I guess you could say. Sorry about my focus. I don't know what the dealio is. I love how this one has this band right in between the two grapes. I have two like this one, but this guy is smaller, super good color on him. And then this one is so good. He is so good. Look at the beautiful polish they did on him. Some sparkle, and he also has that band that goes between the betrayal grapes on each side. So grape agate is such a soothing um, energy. It's very good for people who are sensitive to energies, but it's also a really good stone for um, if you're trying to like exceed your consciousness into deeper levels of meditation this is something good to hold on to this guy is the only one with the really soft grapes this is the gray color grape so you can get dark purple gray and then there's greens um this guy just has such a fantastic uh purple face with the soft gray in the back i thought that was super neat just the contrast between the colors and his bone structure is just so good such a good strong square face um, and then this guy what I really like about this one is he's like super beautiful and polished right on one side all these really nice grapes nice polish looking great right but then he's got a rugged side oh look at he's like half and half he's got the bubbles uh, the little grapeies that go up on the head so he's really special too look at how they did that that is so good. Such a fun stone to get. I love them. Okay, so those are the grave scullies. Oh, he went right here. Then we have in, oof, he's a big boy. I just absolutely love the sheer size of this yellow crazy lace. He has a touch of pink on the forehead. Let me see if I can get you close. Some druzy right up in there. Um, a little pink druzy in his cheekbone. He is massive. Such a good piece. Really good banding right between the nose there. He's got some druzy under his cheekbone area. He's got some up here. He just has sparkles pretty much going all throughout him. Really pretty soft yellowy color. Then you have a pocket back here with just some gorgeous banding around it really 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 nice solid piece and I just love how big he is I haven't had big skulls in so long and I'm so glad I got some in oh so happy um I did get in obviously you saw the big jumbo amber skull I have never had an amber skull this size he is my biggest and I did call it out in shipping, he got a little tiny damage spot, probably because they packed it with something that was incredibly heavy and heavy, you know. So um, he his price will reflect that, of course. But nonetheless, he is absolutely stunning. I don't think that would ever be a problem unless you were to, like, drop him. I would never drop Amber <laughs> or, like, any other crystal, I guess. Um because this is incredibly delicate. Um, let me grab the flashlight one second. All right, here we go. I turned a few of the lights off, but here he is again. Oh, he's so big. I'm like, oh my gosh, don't drop him. Some awesome patterns in him under the black light. He is definitely one of my favorites I've gotten in just because of his sheer size. Again, I feel like the bigger the better. I don't know. Plus, Amber is just so good. Real quick, you guys, I brought out my book to show you guys the um, little blurb that it has on Amber. In this book, I love this book. This is, look, it's got grape on the front. How funny. The Crystal Companion by Judy Hall. Um, a powerful protector against EMF. That's awesome. Um, it promotes trust and instills peacefulness. Um, and it resonates with the throat chakra. I love it. Absorbs pain and alleviates joint problems. Um, 
everybody should have some amber. No doubt about it. And last, we have the Maligano. Oh, he's so heavy. Holy smokes. Look at how gorgeous he is. I love him so much. <laughs> oh, my goodness, little monkey. I didn't even know she was behind me. So I love the fact. Oh, my light's not on, of course. Um, the little Jeruzy pocket on his forehead. I didn't even realize it's so good. I love him so much. And another thing I love about this skull. Let me see if I can rock these lights off with one hand. Let me see. Look at this UV light up. He is so badass. Okay, I have to turn off the lights. Give me a second. All right, here we go. Look! Oh my god! He's so amazing! Ugh! He is so good. I just like can't even stand it. He's so good. Anyways, um, that is the haul, you guys. These are all available. I'm not sure when we'll be live. Possibly Sunday at this point. And um, of course, you can message me at any time. Whenever this video is posted, that means they are available. However, by the time you see it, it doesn't necessarily mean they will be available. But go ahead and message me. And I will be happy to discuss any of your questions. Um, for now, I will get this video out and then I will get another video out when the box comes in and then possibly a Sunday morning show. But if you're in the group, I will keep you guys all posted. So thank you guys so much for watching and uh, be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And thank you so much. We'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.